I see the challenge of many people and many seekers and some of you because you really believe that this world you're living in, you really believe it's real. And all your life experiences up to this point have been indicating in that direction. You have no reason to believe that this world is not real. You have no reason to believe that. And that's where the source of your suffering is, because this world is not real. And that's what people go out there and fight for it. They kill for it. They go to war. They kill other people. They kill their brothers, sisters. They fight in the family over something which doesn't exist, over something which is not real. It appears to be real. It only looks like real. And you would not know that. You, there's no way for you to know that it's not real until your attention is pushed in, in, inside to look for that which doesn't change. Otherwise, these are words. I can sit down here and tell you all day long that the world is not real. It doesn't make any sense to you. Because you have to discover what is real first. And that's a part of my goal. When we do this academy, the idea and what I do, whether I'm working with you on private session, if it's a life training program, or it's a group situation, we, I, I always do the same thing. Always. Always is to take you inwards, to force you to switch your mind inside, to keep your mind on that which doesn't change. That which doesn't change. What is it that doesn't change? And when you go inwards and you bring your attention and you look inside and you bring your attention to the source of your thoughts, then everything becomes quiet. Everything becomes silent. You bring your attention inwards towards the source of your thoughts. And then everything is still. Everything becomes still. There's no movement any longer. It's absolutely become still. Because this teaching is not about more concepts. It's not about doing something. It's not about learning another technique to manifest something, to create a reality for yourself. We're not learning that. Or at least we're not learning it in this way. We're learning to go beyond the world of thoughts into silence, into nothingness. There is nothing and it's silent. And that's where you tap into the bliss and the love of God. That's where we come to the union of oneness with God. And in that union of oneness with God, in this silence, there is no me and there is no God. Because they both disappear into the one. Oneness is not enough. Oneness is a concept.
Oneness against what? You're one against what? There has to still be a duality. You cannot be one and know it. Because if you're one and you're knowing it, then you're comparing it to something else. Where I'm inviting you to come with me and to discover for yourself, there is not one or two, there is not you and God, there is nothing. It all disappears. Because there is nothing to compare it against. And that's where, when we do this work, that's how the healing happens. People think that I have the power of healing them. But that's not true. I don't have the power to heal anything or anyone. It's not my power. It's the fact that you're willing to dive into the silence. So you give me a chance to direct you back into your inner silence. So you fall into silence. You become absolutely still and quiet and there's no mind. Then you are one with God. And that's where the healing happens. That's where the love comes. That's where the joy comes. That's where liberation comes. That's how you get liberated. You free yourself. Sometimes the healing is physical. Sometimes the healing is emotional or spiritual or mental. But it all comes from the source of yourself. It all comes from the source. And there's only one source. There's no different sources. And the source is inside yourself. It's within yourself. How cool is that? Isn't that like amazing? That in fact, you don't need to go anywhere and you really don't have to do anything to get it because it's already inside you. All you have to do is pay attention to it. It can't be any easier than that. It's the direct way that's the direct experience of your 5D quantum awareness. A direct experience, directly, without any kind of zigzagging and exiting and going into anything else. Directly, you reconnect and connect with who you are, the truth of who you are. And you enter into the world of wisdom and direct knowledge within yourself it's here right now nowhere else and that makes it clear that you are who you're looking for you are who you're looking for the what the what you're looking for all your life is really you it's inside yourself but you can't get to it with the mind. You have to go beyond the mind. And that's where a lot of the spiritual teachings come short because they're giving you, they're teaching you concepts. It's another concept, it's an idea. It doesn't work, it doesn't bring peace. It doesn't make you happier. It doesn't make you silent. Because it still requires a level of mind activity that the mind has to work on something in order to get to who you are, to get to you who are, you are who you are, mind is not needed. 